Good evening. Hello and welcome to this episode. My name is Coach Molly and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you get some value out of it. I also hope you subscribe, hit that bell icon and take a chance on pushing yourself forward. Here at Three Pines Leadership, we strive for balance in all aspects of our life. We know that each of us has a gift, a light to shine on the world. And maybe you haven't uncovered your gift or maybe you're standing in the way of shining your light on the rest of the world. But regardless, if you want to change the world for the better, this is the place for you. So welcome. And tonight, we have another journaling moment. Twice a week, I release a new journal prompt. You can get your own free copy of tonight's printable journal page at the links in the description box below. This is tonight's journal page. Tonight's journal is a bit on the tougher side. It's yet another journal that asks us to dive deep and to reframe a negative experience. But before I jump into the prompt for today, let's talk about framing and reframing quickly. I promise there'll be another video in a couple weeks that will dive much deeper into this. Framing is what we do when we're trying to convince our parents that we should be able to stay up late. I remember when I was in high school, I had the opportunity to go to a specialist high school in the big city. It was about a two hour commute each way. And part of my argument, or how my argument was framed, in other words, the context in which my points were presented, had something to do with preparing me for the workforce. My argument to my parents had nothing to do with the academic or social opportunities at the school. No, none of that. I focused my entire argument on this opportunity's ability to prepare me for the working world. I learned the soul-sucking, life-draining feeling of commuting in rush hour traffic. Framing is the context that information is presented the first time around. On the other hand, we have reframing, and that's a recontextualization of a set of facts. This happens a lot in mediation. Have you ever seen someone interrupt an argument with, I think what my friend here is trying to say? That's reframing. It's a great technique to use when emotions are high. For example, have you heard the quote, everything seems impossible until it's done? In the moment of crisis, or when the going gets tough, the situation we find ourselves in sucks. It's hard. But once we've passed through the difficult part, we can look back and say, Oh, that wasn't that bad. Or, it was hard, but it was worth it. This is reframing. So tonight's journal prompt asks us to think back to the worst thing we've ever done. Define worst however you want. This is the journal page for today. So click the links in the description box below and you can get your own printable copy. The purpose of this journal is to practice reframing. It said that hindsight is 50-50, so use this opportunity to find the silver lining in what you did. Maybe you learned something from the experience. Maybe not, but hopefully you did. So take time to reflect on it. That's it for me today, everyone. Remember, I love you and be excellent to each other.